I'm here with Dafa. And why are you sunbathing snakes? Yeah, we are sunbathing snakes because they're natural in the natural habitat. They are reptiles. They are ectothermic animals, so they need an external heat source for their body to heat up and doing their activity normally, like other reptiles. And these are actually quite a number of cobras. Why do you have so many cobras? Yeah, we have so many cobras in this laboratory because there are at least three different researches going on there. The first is uh, my research is about spitting behavior of these cobras. And the second is the research from Ministry of Health in Indonesia. They want to milk about 30 different individuals of Javan spitting cobra to make antivenom. And the last is research. My friend research is about want to plant a microchip in cobras to track their movement. So this is the Naja Sumatrana. There are at least two different subspecies. This one is Naja Sumatrana miolepis. It's from Borneo. The Borneo variation has a black color with no markings in the hood. It's contrast from the Sumatran one. Uh, is there a difference in temperament with this one? Actually, all of the cobras are the, uh, quite the same temperament. They will escape first, but when they feel cornered, they will spread their hood. And when they more cornered, they will spit at you. This one is juvenile. How large can it get? Yeah, it can get to approximately 1.5 meters. They are not really long snakes, but they are stocky bird. Their bird is stocky, huge, yeah. And this is another individual. Yeah, this is another individual. It's bigger than before. It's also from Borneo. So this one is an adult one or? Yeah, this one is adult one. So you can see if, if they feel cornered, they will immediately take a hood like that. But in reality, they are just afraid of us. So when they have chance to escape, they will escape. They don't have to chase us or try to bite us. Generally, they don't want to spray. Yeah, generally they don't want just they just don't want to meet with us. So when they meet humans or other animals that they are not their prey, they will escape, try to escape. They are more prone to spit in closed room. So you know this is a uh, outdoor. They can live practically anywhere, but when they are cornered in closed room, they have no choice. They have no escape route, so the defensive is striking. They will spit on something that threatens them. Now, of course, the problem is that is that people actually find cobra in their bathroom. Yeah. The cobra feels cornered yeah. because it's a closed space. They would want to spit. Yeah, they will spit. this individual okay so this one is Sumatran spitting cobra it's from Sumatra this one is strikingly different from there are some species from Borneo so these Sumatran individuals these Sumatran variations have much brighter coloration and we can see the hood their hood are pattern not like their Javan on or Borneo variation they have at least two or four dark spots on their front hood. Meanwhile, on the back, they have slightly blotch in each side of the hood. Sometimes it resembles false eyes. It's just like uh, the one cobra from India and Thailand.
and uh, and but like it's also very different from the Borneo one. The coloration is it similar to why the Balinese one is different? So some scientists classify this as different subspecies. The Borneo one is Naya sumatrana myolepis, and the Sumatran one is Naya sumatrana sumatrana. But we actually don't really know about their genetics. But their scalation, it's just the same. Hmm. But there's a little bit mystery why they have so different coloration. It's such like they are two different species. In fact, the, in, in the past, scientists thought this is two different species. But recently in genetics and so, we know that they, they are not much different. Is any of these individuals more aggressive than the other? This one is one of the most defensive individual of the other. They they want this one's like to hooting up and it stands so high than others. It's prefer to stay ground rather than fleeing until we are out of her range so he can just flee. But as long as we are in around him it will just stand there. So, so, so for this individual, actually, the behavior is to be defensive first rather than to flee. Yeah, it's defensive as long as we are in yeah. their side. And so we have to be the ones to leave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Borneo one does not have the, the hood, the coloration on the side of the hood, right? Yeah. So actually, the, the Sumatran and Balinese look more similar and the Borneo and Java look more similar it's a bit yeah, funny in, in, term, in terms of coloration but in terms of scalation and others it's and not like that yeah. yeah so it's a good example of the fact that you cannot use coloration to decide the species yeah it's true so true okay so this one is Najas putatrix or Javan spitting cobra but this is a more bright color variations it's from Tabanan from Bali so the Javan spitting cobra distributed throughout entire Java Island to the Bali and West and East Nusa Tenggara in Java the main color are just brown dark brown like that but in East like in Bali or in Nusa Tenggara we can see brighter coloration like this one sometimes they are look like different species but actually they are just another variation of the color in terms of scalation their number of scales their genetics they're pretty much the same as the Javan counterpart do you know why the color is different actually it's maybe just variation but usually the color is strongly linked on the habitat so you see the is the one like Nusa Tenggara they have savannas they can blend more perfectly with brown color rather than the Java, we have no savannas, we have so many paddy fields and forests, so the best color to plant is about darker, maybe like that. Actually, there is a variation in individual characters. Maybe one individual is so laid back, we, we tap them, we provoke them, they just don't want to hood up, they just want to escape. But the others, as soon as we approach them, they will hood up, they will spit, so there is a, so much in variation of the characters based on individuals. And that's the challenge with interaction that you don't know which one you will get. Yeah. Uh, do they have different spit characteristics between Sumatran and Javan? As far as I research about, there is no dif significant difference the character spitting, it's just the way they deliver their spitting is varied. They customize the spitting behavior by their target. When the target is high, when the target is uh, in the ground, when the target is moving, it's maybe it's a different strategy to deliver their spit. Others just uh, want to directly spit. Others are want to take a leap behind and then they jump forward is that also based on the individual or or the different subspecies it's based on the target the position the size of the target 
Okay, so they yeah. can basically uh, measure. Yeah. Yeah. Coach their target. Okay, so it's actually a highly specialized behavior. Yeah, it's specialized behavior, uniquely for defense. Generally, all snakes, including the venomous one, the notorious one, are just fear to humans. They don't want to chase us. They don't want to bite us. All they want is just safety. They they will leave us when they can. It's just a matter of defensive posture, not an act to try to bite us or something. They just they just have signal signal to tell us that I'm dangerous. Just just don't this just don't go near me. Just leave me alone. And when we leave them alone, they they will escape. So they will not. Do, do you believe that uh, the the hooding is because of humans, or is is the hooding from a different or different reason? The hooding is basically when they confronting with something that are not their food, like maybe their potential predator, something bigger than them. They will hooding like maybe they they cross path with a cat or with mongoose or with dog or humans in this case they will hood because they recognize they are not their prey so what's what's something that big that are not their prey so that's predator okay so uh cobras are notorious for their sounds they make a loud hissing sounds some are louder than others and the hissing sounds are produced by their breath their breath are from the lungs expelled from the glottis the glottis is it's like a wind pipe in their mouth to help them breathe while they take their meal so maybe it depends on the characteristics of their glottis their lungs they can produce hissing sounds more than others this is the javan spitting cobra from java island you can see the difference between the Polynes and the Java. It's like a dark brown, blackish, but it's not as black as the Borneo variation. And their hood is frequently larger, being like a spoon. So they here call it Ular Sendok or Spoon Snake because they they like a spoon. But in Borneo one, we can see the hood is less enlarged, but they are longer in in terms of escalation so the borneo is the darkest one yeah the borneo is the darkest one so these cobras will actually be released into the wild after yeah and for the last research for the microchip research they want to release the cobra in their natural habitat so they can track where they go, where they usually active, and etc. Et uh, those snakes with the chips are actually Javan cobras? Yeah, the one with planted chips is all of Javan spitting cobra.